Joining our closing bell exchange today, Jeff Sott from Raymond James, Keith Bliss is here from Drive Wealth LLC, and CNBC's Rick Santelli, as always, joining us from the CME Group. So, what do you make of this market action here, Keith? Got a big decline, triple yep. digits. We rallied back. It looks like the interpretation of the Fed minutes was not too positive for stocks, but also didn't throw us off. Well, I think when you get as oversold as we did, especially back on October 10th, and we're moving into what everybody predicts will be a very strong earnings season, you're going to have some churn in the markets, especially when economic uh, data points come out like housing around housing or around inflation. And, and that's precisely what you're, what you're seeing here. The minutes did have an impact. So this is where the market is right now. They're trying to read the tea leaves and see if they can predict a policy error that may be coming from the Fed. Now, as we just heard from uh, Mr. Fisher and Michigan, I, I agree with them 100%. The, the difference between the Jay Powell Fed and the Janet Yellen Fed, by the way, is that Janet Yellen always said that she would err on the side of not doing enough and letting inflation start to get away before they actually impose some policy restrictions. Jay Powell Fed has not said that. He said they're trying to get ahead of it. And when you look at a JOLTS number that's over 7 million and you, and you look at an unemployment rate at 3.7 percent, you start to see wage pressures. That's what they're trying to get ahead of it. So while the market is digesting economic data that comes out, as well as looking at the strong earnings that are going to come, you're going to see some churn in the markets. The one point that I would make of all the major indexes is the small caps, which got bludgeoned the most and had the most technical damage from that sell-off last week, they really need to get back to a 1660, 1670 level for me before I say we're out of the woods, we've digested perhaps going to 3.5% of the Fed funds rate in the short term, and then we can move forward. We're at 1590 uh, as we speak. Rick, what's your main takeaway from the minutes? You know, it's like a tale of two markets. Uh, the equity traders are always like Madame Defarge, and the Fed's always like the Bastille, and they, there's always a problem there. The, the private uh, the, uh, institutional investors that mostly hang out in the fixed income markets, you know, rates continue to move up after the Fed minutes. The dollar's having a spectacular day. Uh, not spectacular to the point where it, it's, you know, I'm telling you, it's the best level all year although it's getting somewhat close, but it really avoided a technical disaster yesterday. Intraday trade under 95, haven't settled under 95 since the end of September, big turnaround. I think in the end that we don't know how much Jay Powell and company will push past neutral. And I think that the fixed income market seems to give him and uh, the FOMC members a lot more latitude in that regard. Uh, the Treasury complex seems coiled to me uh, after this is going to be the fifth day. We've basically been in super tight closing ranges, although we're starting to see it move out. To your note, yields at 288, not a level we've seen. We've seen a few 317, 318s and 10s. Haven't traded that in a while. That's only five basis points off our highest yield close in seven years. So I do think uh, that the Fed and the fixed income markets and the dollar index markets are moving in a logical fashion. I think equities, I understand volatility and I understand the aftermath. It's not binary when you have days like we had uh, last week, but they seem to be getting their sea legs back and the economy still seems to be juiced up pretty good. So I guess the question, Jeff, is what's it going to all mean for stocks? Is the Fed policy of keeping to raise interest rates gradually here and higher rates going to stand in the way of a stock market rally? I don't think so. I think the Fed's going to be so gradual. Quite frankly, I don't even know what a neutral rate is. I don't know what they mean when they say that. Uh, we're coming into a good earnings season. Uh, we got as much sold out on the downside last week as we were at the February 9th undercut low. Uh, we think you made the low last week, and we told investors to put some more capital to work uh, that we actually raised a few weeks ago on a very short-term sell segment. Actually, it was two weeks ago today. So. We think the markets are in fine shape. We think the Fed's going to raise rates very slowly, and it doesn't disrupt the economy, it doesn't disrupt housing, and it doesn't disrupt the stock market.